In the sparkly sunny days, or in the middle of stormy weather, the leaves sit on the branches, enjoying the sun, the air, and assisting the tree in its growth. When autumn comes, the leaves let go of the tree, landing on the soil gracefully. They decompose, become one with Mother Earth, humbly and quietly supporting the tree in a different way. The leaves embrace the cycle gracefully and peacefully, never worrying about the next step or the past. What if the leaves possess a human mind? They would compete with each other and fight to climb up to the top of the tree so that they can become the best performing leaves. As autumn comes, they hold tight onto the branch, thinking how the tree cannot survive without them. Just like most of us, we underestimate our forte and exaggerate our shortcomings. We hold on to our glorious side and deny our dark side. May we learn from the leaves to fully embrace who we are at each moment, doing our best without holding on to the results. Mindfulness is the cultivation of equanimity and awareness. Equanimity refers to being receptive and open to what's within and around us. Equanimity has to be mastered from within. When our mind finds its balance, regardless of the external events, then we know we are equanimous. Our emotions hit us like a storm at times. Emotion is simply a reflection of the state of mind. If the bodily sensation is the language of the physical body, then our emotion is only the language of the soul. Emotion itself is neither good nor bad. The more we deny our emotions, the more we strengthen them. By letting our emotions to be there, our mind slowly goes back to its equilibrium. Our body always shows us the truth. Even though our emotions are abstract and intangible, the emotions show themselves through the physical sensations. Our thoughts can trick us, but our feelings and physical sensations never lie. When we're upset, certain parts of the body tense up and our rhythm of breathing changes. So to cultivate equanimity, our practice is to go back to our body, observing the sensations and breathing. By doing so, less attention is paid in the thoughts. As a result, we no longer feed our emotions and the mind can find its own equilibrium. I vow to be mindful of the intention behind my thoughts, my speech and my actions. Thanks to the yoga and mindfulness practice, I've become so much more aware of who I am, of how much more love I can have for myself and others. I practice to embrace all the pleasant and unpleasant experiences in my life, knowing that they're all lessons and blessings. May your practice assist you to realize the love within you and the love within others. May we practice together diligently.